Shopping for fine jewelry and, and for diamonds can be a very, very pleasant experience as long as one follows some very, very basic guidelines. And at the top of the list is choosing the jeweler. Make certain that you go to a first-rate, responsible jeweler, member of the community with solid credentials. And don't be timid about asking about those credentials. Is he a member of an organization, a trade organization that's respected? How long has he been in the community? Ask your pals. Word of mouth is very important here. I would add to that as well, is he educated? Does he know his product? If he's taken courses such as those at the Gemological Institute of America, I think before anyone goes into any store and looks at any stone, I always recommend to young people, take the time to educate yourself a little bit. Do some homework. Go on the website, www.gia.edu, and learn a little bit about diamonds. Have some working knowledge. And when you do that, you're going to learn very quickly about the importance of the four C's. Of course, the four C's determine the value of the diamond. They are color, clarity, carat weight, and cut. You can actually see from this photo one aspect of cut, which is the different shapes of diamonds. But it's actually more than that. It also determines how bright they are, how beautiful they look when you move them in the light. All of these characteristics are represented in grading reports, such as this one that we issue from the Gemological Institute of America. With the report, you're assured of the quality of the diamond and have the information matched to that particular stone. The price that you're going to pay for a diamond is based on the mixture of those four ingredients. Uh, they're not all of equal value. Many, many times someone will go into a store and they'll say simply, I would like the biggest stone that my money can buy. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. However, when one focuses only on the one C, that is the carrot weight, I want the big rock, then one has to be prepared to give up something on the other two C's, color and clarity. Uh, sad to say there are some unscrupulous merchants out there, particularly at this time of the year. I would say first and foremost, beware of any jeweler or any seller or any merchant who refuses to provide you with an independent diamond or colored stone grading report, such as the GIA report. And I would add to that, be suspicious of really deep discounts, 70, 80 percent off. And finally, I'd add one other caveat, I think. Beware of the jeweler who wasn't there yesterday, suddenly appears today to take your money. Maybe he won't be there tomorrow when you really need him. The GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, is a not-for-profit public benefit institution headquartered in Carlsbad, California, with two fundamental parts. Part one is education. We're a college. We teach gemology. 12,000 students last year alone. And secondly, we are a gemological laboratory doing research and grading diamonds for the benefit of the public and, in fact, for the entire gem and jewelry industry all around the world. And I'd add to that, GIA created the four C's of diamond grading and the international grading system. We're in our 77th year, and between our educational offices and our laboratories, we're in 12 countries around the world and growing. And through all of this time, our messages remain the same, to instill the public's trust through gems and jewelry.